Hi there, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis. One of my clients asked me a question recently, which he gave me permission to share with you. He's been wanting to quit his job and he has this great idea for a new business. And he's wondering if he's deluding himself, if he's not actually going through burnout, but it's just a midlife crisis. He's not, by the way, it really is burnout in his case, but it's a good question. So a midlife crisis is when you've been working really hard for a really long time at doing all the things that you think are going to make you happy and you wake up one day and you realize that you're not happy. And so you funnel all of your energy back into doing those same things harder. But now you're older, you have more social status, a better position in life, more money. And so you dump all that into getting the things that you wanted when you were younger, when you thought when you felt good and thought everything was gonna be great. And so you get the fancy car, the younger partner, the all of the stereotypical stuff. And, and so that's a midlife crisis. On the other hand, what a lot of, a lot of people who end up in burnout go through is they, work really, really hard for a long time at doing all the things that they think are going to make them happy. If you're autistic, this is not just the the job and power dynamics, but it's also the masking. It's like doing things the right way, doing things the neurotypical way, meeting expectations. And, um, and you wake up one day and you realize that these things are not bringing you happiness. And so you actually make changes. You do things that are getting rid of those things that are that you now realize are hurting you and you reinvest in finding the things that actually bring you happiness. That may or may not involve a burnout. A burnout is one of the wake-up calls that some people get. I got multiple times before I really paid too much attention to it. Um, but it doesn't have to be burnout. But if you're in burnout and you're realizing that all this stuff that you thought was going to be the keys to a great life just aren't, and you're trying to reinvent yourself, but not because you want to make a new mask, but because you want to be more authentically, truly you, that isn't a midlife crisis. That's a midlife wake up or whatever time of your life wake up. Okay, I hope that that helps. And I hope that you're finding the things that do genuinely create happiness for you, whatever that happens to be in your life. Take care. Have a neuro wonderful day.